Is the former inflection team at Microsoft working on AI agents? Welcome back to the AI Daily Brief Headlines Edition, all the daily AI news you need in around five minutes. We kick off today with what is ultimately just potentially a throwaway line in a recent New York Times profile of Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella, but one which nonetheless I thought was pretty interesting. The piece came out over the weekend, and it basically tells the story of how Nadella got so focused on AI and how his bet on the space increased over time. There are some great anecdotes in here, for example, around how Nat Friedman and GitHub really amplified Nadella's ambitions in AI, even at a time that their investment in OpenAI wasn't necessarily panning out, at least in broad perception. There's also a bit more around his engagement with OpenAI and its board during the whole Sam Altman crisis and how that led into the hiring of Mustafa Suleiman and his team from Inflection to lead Microsoft's AI initiatives internally. One of the big questions has been, what is that group doing as opposed to, for example, OpenAI? Where does OpenAI end and Microsoft begin? And of course, are they in some ways actually competing? We didn't necessarily get an answer here, but we did get this line. Discussing the Inflection deal, the New York Times writes, the deal was announced three weeks later. It wasn't technically an acquisition, which could get bogged down in antitrust reviews, but it let Microsoft hire Mr. Suleiman and nearly all his staff. Mr. Suleiman was put in charge of creating AI agents that act like personal online assistants, steering people through their daily tasks and even doing some of the thinking for them. Mr. Nadella saw this as a dramatic change in how people interact with computers and a leap beyond what competitors were doing. He gave Mr. Suleiman immense resources to make it happen, including running many of Microsoft's largest consumer businesses such as Bing. More than 10,000 people would work under him. So what's interesting about this is not necessarily the idea that they are working on agents. Obviously, all the big AI labs at this point are working on agents. It is broadly seen as the next big frontier, and so we might have guessed that this would be a part of the mandate. However, when it comes to what exactly this team from Inflection was hired to do, this makes it seem like this was the mandate. I don't think we've read anything so far that paints it that clearly. And so like I said, while it could just be sort of an errant throwaway line, it seems like whatever the sourcing was for this piece points to this being the big thing that Mustafa Suleiman and his team are working on inside Microsoft. Certainly super interesting and something that I'm going to keep a close eye on. Next up, we have a couple of product updates. YouTube Music is working on a feature for AI-generated playlists. The company says that premium users in the US will be able to create a custom playlist by, quote, describing exactly what they want to hear. So for example, you would say something like catchy pop choruses or upbeat pop anthems, and that would populate your list. Another feature that's coming lets you search for songs by singing them, humming them, or playing them from another device. This is like Shazam Reborn, but on steroids. I know for sure that my five-year-old daughter is going to love these features so she can get me to play exactly what she has stuck in her head. Google is also apparently testing out AI-created video presentations. The Verge writes Google Vids is supposed to make creating a video clip as easy as making a slide for your next work presentation. The Verge writes, Google is launching its new Vids productivity app in Workspace Labs with the idea that, quote, if you can make a slide, you can make a video in Vids. Announced in April, Vids allows users to drop docs, slides, voiceovers, and video recordings into a timeline to create a video presentation to share with coworkers. Making it available in the Workspace Labs preview allows Workspace admins to opt in users to try out the AI powered video maker. Importantly, this is not a Sora competitor, but something that is basically creating a narrated presentation, which frankly makes it a lot more useful for a workplace context, and so something that I am very excited to try out, and we will almost certainly be creating content around over at Super Intelligent. Over in the markets, AI continues to be a big theme. Reuters reports that Apple is at all-time highs after Morgan Stanley called it a top pick based on its AI efforts. Apple shares rose 2.5% on Monday to reach a new record high. Apple had been mostly flat on the year before their Worldwide Developer Conference presentation, and now the company is up nearly 20% on the year. That makes its market cap $3.62 trillion, which makes it, for the moment, the largest company in the world. Chipmaker TSMC has also seen banner times, with its second quarter profit up 30% based on demand from AI chips. The company's stock is up 75% this year. Lastly today, Bank of America is reportedly planning on spending $4 billion on AI this year said CEO Brian Moynihan on Tuesday, quote, AI has moved from cost savings ideas to enhancing the quality of our customer interactions. By way of example, he pointed to the bank's AI advisor and client insights tools, which he said has delivered more than 6 million insights so far this year to financial advisors. Perhaps this AI advisor will tell Bank of America not to debank me, which happened yesterday based on one of the industries I spend time in. 
but still I'm glad to see that they're spending money on the future. For now, though, that is going to do it for today's AI Daily Brief. Next up, the main episode.